Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your heart is controlled by your... Your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 530. We get the NASDAQ up 462. You get the S&Ps up 97. You get a gain inside the NASDAQ, folks, of 3%. Inside the S&Ps, 2.1. 2 inside the Dow Industrials, 1.5. Gold, gold contract up six dollars forty cents, trading at seventeen eighty five an ounce. We have silver up twenty five cents, twenty two dollars forty eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up two forty two, seventy one dollars ninety two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten year down eleven ticks, trading one thirty ten. The thirty year off twenty one at one sixty one twenty eight. Yeah, the ten year yielding one point four eight right now. So you're still way low. Uh, this 10 as well as the 30s pulling back with lighter volume and that's saying it still wants higher price. King dollar. King dollar is up 46 ticks trading out at 96.374. Euro is at 112. Yen's at 113 and a half and the British pound is trading out at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have out here? Well, there is no doubt you have a, a gain in price in a monster way. That being said, you have a contraction of volume that is huge. Um, we have a two-way market here, man. That's the real bottom line. Uh, you know, what you do have is this. So it's a pitch. The SPY's up $9.46. You know, if we take a look at this, Friday you were down at $4.48. You were at $4.68. That's saying that it's going to go after the high. You know, you're, you're already into the lows of the high, which is the 467.35. That being said, the contraction in volume is huge, man. So my, my take is that this is still in a consolidation. And uh, the lower end of this is, I'm not saying the lower end is from last Wednesday also. I'm going back to where October 25th was, which is the 436 inside of the SPY. We took a, take a look at the NDX 100. It's the same setup in the NDX. You're going higher with a monster contraction of volume out here. So we have is this, is that you're up $11.13 on the Qs, done 39 million shares. Yesterday, was, yesterday was light volume, did 67 million. So pretty amazing, actually. That being said, now, the, the differential here is that I suspect the Qs will get to the lows of the high. The lows of the high at 399.19. And we'll see whether we can uh, basically do it. Let's just, inside the NDX 100, I just want to look at Apple for a second because Apple has, okay, so that's just a test of the highs. Interesting. Okay, so this would have, so check this out. So Apple, folks, has such a large weighting structure and everything. I think it's, I think it's 8.2% in the S&P. It's 11.1% in the NASDAQ. It, 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 there, there's some monster numbers out here. That being said, if you take a look at Apple right now, Apple's just tested a tie and it's going to, be a rejection of higher price with lighter volume. We've done 84 million shares. The, high, the number to keep your eye on is 170.30. Um, this is going to get really interesting, man, because if you've never seen something like this, meaning that these little subtle moves, okay, uh, mean something, you're going to be really surprised <laughs> because they do mean something. Um, yeah, they will see where it shakes out. That's the bottom line. Gold. Gold contract out here. The bottom line is that we, we got, let's see, active contract. Okay, so the gold contract has 108,000 contracts, 120,000 contracts traded out here. It did reject lower price at 7, 1772. You're at 1785. Bottom line, you're going to the top of the range that it's been in. And we'll see whether it can get any juice out here tomorrow. You know, what it has certainly done, it, it came back into its strength from November, the middle of November and rejected lower price. And good old King Dollar. If we take a look at King Dollar out here, what we have with King Dollar. King Dollar right now couldn't handle price out here. Uh, we got to uh, 96.592. Right now, you're a couple hundred ticks below that. You're at 96.368. But it's, it's been just 
King Doll has been trading sideways for about uh, seven or eight days right now. Oil. We take a look at the oil market out here. Oil caught a bid once again. Oil's up 244. You're trading at 7194. And that has, let's see, 442,000 contracts. That's not bad contract volume. Not great, but it's not bad. Yeah. So, so ice on oil, folks, is up at 77. So I expect we're going to go to 77. The real question is going to be, is, that, uh, is it going to continue with some juice? Because what oil does have, oil has an acceleration of volume out here today. That's how those, that's, that baby has. Um, let's see. Okay, these volumes are at highs, are low volumes. Doesn't it make sense that the case that the bulls to blow those tops out? Okay, so the, the question, because of the low volume that we have at highs already, wouldn't it make sense that you could blow those highs out? Yeah, it, it, it does make that sense, but this is, okay, so let me answer this. Not, I was gonna say two separate ways, not two separate ways. What it is is this. So if we look at the SPY, Last time we went up on the SPY, we hit a high with 72 million. Now, that's not a lot of volume, that, and that's what the Tiger's talking about, okay? So, would it make sense that you can blow that high away? Yes, it would make sense that you can go test it. I don't expect it's going to get blown away. And I particularly don't expect it's going to get blown away because keep your eye on Apple. Because if Apple fails out here today, bottom line, you might even hear me change by the end, by five or four, that this would be it and would open down again tomorrow, which would be really weird, trust me, uh, on a move like this. I, I don't think we're going to. I think because we're on Tuesday in the marketplace, I expect you can get a little bit higher. We'll try to test that high. But this type of contraction of volume is really something you want to wrap your head around. Um, if Apple, as I said, if Apple fails out here today, uh, that's saying quite a bit. That's saying there's no more new buyers out here. You've tested a high. You test it with lighter volume, you're gonna back down. If Apple backs down, the whole deal's gonna back down. And NVIDIA, NVIDIA is the same way. And if you take a look at NVIDIA, what you're gonna see with NVIDIA, uh, actually NVIDIA has, has volume behind it. NVIDIA's in better shape than Apple right now. Uh, NVIDIA is at 48 million shares traded, which is, which is decent volume. That's the real bottom line, we're at 320.87. Stay right there, folks, coming back. Our phone number is 877. 927-6648, Dow Industrial's up 521, NASDAQ up 436, S&P's up 92, come right back.